all men think the same? Okay, here we go. Cheese nips. You asked for it. <laughs> Stick around to the end. We love talking to you guys. Enjoy this episode of Spectrum. Bro, just hop on the game. Need like some LV. Chill. I got to give everybody what they want. You know what I'm saying? So that's important to you? To be like the breadwinner? I'm the caretaker of society. Mm. All right, let's see. But he got braces. I I mean, worry is an ex, an ex, it is a crazy word. I wouldn't say I'm crazy worried about it, but like I feel like everybody once you start watching the videos online, you know what videos I'm talking about. And they got those fucking Chernobyl waste hogs attached to their body. Them fucking baby arms holding an apple. I be like, damn. Why is why is his penis thirteen inches long? You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> oh, four ads. That's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Save the jokes, Tony, please. <laughs> They're all some liars. They're all some liars. That's a good question. I like this. <laughs> it's just a normal thing to be worried about. Yeah, I would stay in the middle of it. It's like yeah. Growing up, like you're like, am I normal? You know, like. <laughs> I hate this. Um, <laughs> I guess like when I was younger, I was like, "Whoa, is this right. normal? Is this not?" But like, eventually, I was like, "No, nah, I'm I'm fine." I feel like this whole conversation is just like bringing to my awareness how impressionable and like how much of our lives and our masculinity is defined by when we're kids. When everybody's like, "Oh, you gotta have a big dick. You gotta have a big dick," and all you see is like, only time you see a dick is on porn, and it's like. Yeah. 14 inches, then it's like, well, mine doesn't look like that. Yeah. Then, of course, you're going to, like, start thinking about it versus... I'm actually changing my answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I changed my mind because what he said was, it, it made a lot of sense because I remember the first time I saw porno and I saw yeah. that guy's penis, I was like, I'm not like that. As I got okay, hella, descri hella descriptive there, but uh, for sure. Older, I perfected my craft. I've never had a problem <laughs> with women. It has nothing to do with the penis. It's all about. It's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. You just love a woman. You embrace each other, and it's just I've never had a problem with a woman since then. I think for younger guys, this is the concern that I'm realizing is like maybe if these <clears throat> discussions were more open about size and, and whatever, and, and that really over time it all becomes okay, <laughs> okay and now. it's fine, um, maybe that would help a lot. A man should pay for the first date. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Damn. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh, okay. <laughs> nice. I just wait, like, Really, it should like it should be the person who asks, like like you know what I'm saying. But like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like the way the old school ways work. They did work. They yeah. just messed it up. So that's I important to you to like take that leadership role to be, tradition to be like the breadwinner. I'm the caretaker of society. I don't even like seeing it this way. Once you give the woman the power, then you just demasculated yourself. I, I just I want to stick to what's made me happy. And my my grandparents, my parents, I'm just gonna stick with it. I buy the same products you do, Sorry. I get them much cheaper. I save Sorry. hundreds of dollars a month by doing this one. Because it works. It's not perfect, but it works. Be a man, plain and simple. Uh, I think, I, I don't know, I think we're just getting in dangerous territory when we start talking about chivalry. At the end of the day, it's like, yo, baby, if you want to pay for this, like, there is no hierarchy here. Like, if you want to pay for this, pay for this. And maybe next time I'm like, I just got a check, so I'll pay for it. Wasn't this the first meal, though? You yeah, said, the first one. Okay, you want to yeah. get one chance to make a first impression. What is it? Yeah, mean? first, first, bro, first date, bro. Pay for that shit. What the fuck? I don't know. My mom always just taught me that. I was raised by my mom, and she was like, "You, if you take a lady out, you always pay." You know, I was raised by a mother. Like my dad wasn't in my life. He's like a single mom. So like, this is coming from a woman. You know what I'm saying? Matter if if it's a girl or a guy. It's 2019, and your logic shouldn't be like no disrespect, like. 
oh, because my grandpa did it and it worked for him, then it works for me. If she's not gonna date me that second time because I didn't pay for her, I think I dodged a bullet. But that's a whole bunch of broke money. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, what? Bro, pay for the date. What are you talking about? Like, Buddy was going a little crazy with the, like, be a man. You know what I'm saying? But, like, bro, it's, the, bro, it's a first date. Like, are you crazy you're not going to pay for the first date? Are we crazy right now? Oh, like, are you serious? Like, what the fuck? Like, it, well, if I don't pay and, and, that, and that's what stopped her, then, bro, bro. Pay for the what are we t people? Ain't, you don't gotta be a breadwinner to pay for a date, a movie date, bruh. A movie date Tuesdays is five dollar movie days over here, bruh. But even if it's not, a movie ticket's probably uh, usually 13 bucks. You know what I'm saying? You get you have popcorn and a drink, you share that shit. You're paying at most 30 bucks. That's not true because it's two tickets. You're paying 40, 50 bucks for one day. You know what I'm saying? I support the Me Too movement. Whoa. The Me Too movement? Like like that, like when women got sexually assaulted? Like I've been sexually assaulted too? Three, one, go. Uh, Am I, what's wrong with the movement? Because why is that a question? Be real, be real. At first, when I saw it, you know, and talking to my friends, a lot of and family, a lot of people in the South, they're like, these women should have spoke up a long time ago. And then I had to like step aside and really process it for myself and be like, you know what? She didn't feel comfortable, and it wasn't a, she wasn't in a society in a place where it was acceptable for her to say anything about it. So now that they have the platform and the ability, of course, Baldy on the other side. I'm like, that's amazing. Speak your truth. What do you tell a child who is accused of rape by a woman, has his whole life destroyed, and then people just go, eh. There's always going to be people that take advantage of it. Or Wait, what? What the fuck did you just say? His whole life destroyed, and then... What do you tell a child who is accused of rape by a woman, has his whole life destroyed, and then people just go, eh. There's always going to be people that take advantage of it, or it's not going to be perfect. We're right. figuring it out as we go, but I think it's right. done more good than it's done bad. I, think, you get my, to, I yeah. think we get to acknowledge the bad, though. Like, I think, yeah, like, of course. That's, that's why I'm doing, like, this thing is, like, for us to say, like, oh, he did that to me, and all of a sudden now we've, like, vindicated that guy is, like, vilified. Like, there is no chance of, like, him having a say in the conversation. Trial we get to have a conversation every time. not good. Like, this mob mentality is bad. I yeah. agree with that. But okay, okay, so now, now I'm following. Um, the, the movement itself, like, women, people coming out and being like, this person sexually assaulted me. And there should be some consequences for that. That's dope. It's not dope that that happened, but like the movement is dope because it, it gives power to people who were, you know, put into that place, which sucks. Um, but on that same note, I, I, I think like, like the movement is cool. Like the guys that are disagreeing are like, well, what if it was a false accusation? Well, no one's talking about false accusations. False accusations are terrible. And they, uh, they specifically affect black and brown people. How many athletes have we heard of that took a white girl out and that white girl was like, they did this to me. They went to jail for five years and then that white girl goes, I lied about it. You know what I'm saying? So like, so the movement itself, good. But the movement doesn't mean false accusations. Unfortunately, there are false accusations Anywhere, like he's like that buddy over here said, apparently with the big ass dick, because that's what he said. He didn't care about his dick size. I don't know, but like, yes, there is, there are people who will, who are gonna take advantage of it, and that sucks. So like, false accusations are terrible. You know what I'm saying? But I I truly believe like a false accusation. But I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. The movement itself is good. False accusations are bad. But that, but because false accusations exist doesn't mean that a movement shouldn't be supported. You feel what I'm saying? There are bad people in all movements. That don't mean fuck the movement. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know? 
If you got if you got into a fight with an Asian dude one day and then it was like fuck Asian hate hate them bitches like that would be crazy like what are you talking about right now you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I don't think that's exclusive to the Me Too movement. But we're using it right now to say oh that person is bad oh fuck that person. There's no further conversations being happening. If it's a movement to say yes okay. This hierarchy we've created of men and women, which is a result of the way men are expected to act, the women are expected to act. Let's have those conversations and everything changes and I'll be over there all fucking day. I somewhat agree with that. I'm not gonna lie. I somewhat agree with that. Let me see. Can you use a different word? Yeah. Oh, that's no. the exact uh, right word. Yeah, I think I just somewhat agree that it's blown out of proportion because I think what happens with social media is a group of people coin a term and now it's, we're all painted by it. Like we are not in like a post, I don't know, like rape culture world, you know, like women are being catcalled every day. And so like men are still, I think, seen or experienced as like a predatory presence to women. So like, that's why I just don't think it's like overblown. I think it's just, it's new. If we were good men, there wouldn't be feminists. They wouldn't be attacking us. They wouldn't be hating us. You have a lot of guys who don't want to commit to marriage. You have a lot of guys who cat call. So yes, men have become toxic. And once again, I have to be, I have to be consistent with all my beliefs and all my morals. I'm very traditional. I see what you're saying, but the way you're framing it, like... What about toxic femininity? But see, here's the thing. People can be toxic regardless. I think that, I think that, like, like what constitutes toxic masculinity? And then we can go from there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you were to go, I'm a man, like, if you were in a relationship, right? And you go, I'm a man, whatever I say goes. Well, that's a problem. And that's not a problem because you're a man. That's a problem with you as a person. You know what I'm saying? People don't talk about toxic femininity. Well, that's because we're not talking about toxic femininity. We're talking about toxic masculinity. So, like, if your rebuttal is, well, toxic masculinity, but what about this? Well, well, now you've just changed the subject. Let's stay on subject and attack that point, and then we can focus on other points. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's what I, 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 I don't think I'm also not a woman. So, you know what I'm saying? But as a man, okay, I've, I've lived with men my whole life. I've been around men my whole life. I don't think that, uh, I think that social media overblows anything. Toxic masculinity, toxic femininity, just people in general, like things and beliefs in general. You know what I'm saying? Toxic masculinity to me is more serious because women have been mistreated for so long, but that's just me. For sure. For sure. And men are in a place of power. But what I do think is that there definitely is toxic masculinity, but I don't think it's the degree it's made out to be. That's that is my point. There is definitely toxic masculinity, and there's definitely bad guys. That is an absolute fact. And if you disagree with that, you're dumb and you're stupid. You're a moron. I don't give a fuck what you say. I just think the question is: Do you think it's overblown? I think to an extent, because of social media and because of clicks and views and everybody wanting some sort of something, I think it's a little bit overblown. However. It is very real. It exists. And there are bad guys out there. Absolutely. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But like, like I also, again, I, I live in the South and there's a lot of traditional values in the South. That's a fact. But there's also a lot of like care. Like, like I've been in situations, like there was just one time me and my brother was in, was in uh, Walmart and we were checking out and there was a dude that was belligerently drunk. Like he was just flat out fucking drunk. And the lady, the checkout lady that was helping him in the self checkout was a, just a woman. She was just a lady. And he was a little rude, but nothing like, it was just like, this dude's drunk and he's an asshole. And then he calls the lady a bitch, like a woman. And me and my brother, we're like, yo, don't fucking call her a bitch. Like, you're not going to do that shit in front of us. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and so that's why I say like, and, but this just may be just me. That's why I say that there are good people and bad people in every facet. There are good values and bad values in every facet. And and as a man, I, I I made myself more masculine to that man to stop him from doing things to a woman. You know what I'm saying? Being mean to a woman and things like that. So that's why I think it's a little overblown. Because I believe that there are good people out here. Now, I'm also not a woman. Women could have a completely different fucking... You know what I'm saying? That woman that was called a bitch by that dude, she could be like, yeah, men scare me. And what am I supposed to say? No, they don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I can just understand both sides. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this, this word moral is kind of 
You don't know what that is anymore, though. That's, that's well, it's like it sounds like you're saying like it's men's job to be like the moral compass of society. Hmm. It is. No. I, I, no, I don't believe it's, it, 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 it's yeah. everybody's, but men. If men want to coin themselves as the leaders, you have to hold up to the good and the bad. That's part of the problem, though. Like that's what I think toxic masculinity, or it's putting too much pressure on yourself. I mean, it's very obvious that we're grappling with like the history and the damage oh, of like God, what a world completely run by men does to us. That's why I think we're talking about ta toxic masculinity. I am comfortable showing my. I think with my people I am, with my close people, with my girl, my brother, um, my friends, I am. Other than that, I would never like <clears throat> I would never break like I would never break down in front of y'all. Y'all will y'all will never in a million years ever see me cry. My like my boy Deuce like just died. He died this year in January. I got live like Deuce on me. And like I don't even bring it up. I don't talk about it. Not because I don't I I want y'all to forget about Deuce or I want to forget about Deuce, but that's just not something that I would do online, you know what I'm saying? Or to just random people. Like, I'll talk about the good things. But, like, I'll talk about Deuce to people, and they won't even know he's dead, you know? But, like, to my girl, to my dogs, to my brother, it's very much hugs, I love you, cry. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, when Deuce died, like, it was tough for everybody. It was tough for my girl. It was tough for me. And, and the way he went out, like, Deuce was shot. Like, my, my crib got robbed, and Deuce was shot protecting, like, my brother. Um, and I was there, like it just, uh, it all happened in a flash and then, and then they ran, you know what I'm saying? And that's not something like I could imagine like not crying about, but there are men that wouldn't cry about that. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is crazy. Like I couldn't imagine like I lost my, like one of my brothers, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't imagine just like being there and just being like, eh, it sucks, man. But you know, but men, but like traditionally men have done that. And so I think while I'm breaking some of the norms about men, like my girl knows my emotions, my family knows my emotions, my brothers, my 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 friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still I still just wouldn't cry to somebody random. That just may just be me. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you are a man, you definitely should find an emotional outlet because holding on to that shit, bro, that shit can kill you. That shit can actually take your life. Like, to the point where you feel so alone because you can't open up that you will lose either your life or lives around you. There are people who I know that, like, who who are so bad with their emotions, they've lost their children. Their children don't want to fuck with them no more. A lot of foreign people go with that. Like, my mom's kind of got her qualms with emotions. She don't believe in depression. It's a, it's a thing she can pray away. God got me. I'm like, mama, it's okay. You were a refugee. You went through some traumatic experiences. Your brain, like... Develop through that. You you got some things about you. Oh, God got me, Tony. I'm just going to pray. There's no spirits in me. And it's like, all right. You know what I'm saying? But me and my mom don't have the closest relationship because she's not good with her emotions. You feel what I'm saying? So, real question. If you don't like therapists, what are you supposed to do? Therapists are people, right? So, just keep trying until you find the therapist that you like. Until you find the person that you like. Bro, that as I just tell my girl, hey, let me tell you how I feel about this real quick. That shit feels so good, bro, for sure. It's because of that macho mentality that they instill in them from the child to teen years. Yeah, but I think it has, a, I think it has a lot to do with history too. You know what I'm saying? Like, like especially with the like history, but also ignorance. Like, you got to think when soldiers were coming back from World War One and World War Two, right? They had PTSD, but they didn't even know it was PTSD. They called it shell shock. You know what I'm saying? And so. Like, I, I think, uh, if you guys have watched Peaky Blinders, Peaky Blinders does a really good job of showing, like, how soldiers were, uh, and they, but they had no outlet, not even to talk about their emotions, to get help for what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, soldiers, in, like, because no one knew how gruesome war can get and how it can affect your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, like and, and, like, I know this now because... So, like, just talking about my situation, what happened with, with Deuce, they broke into my crib, I was in my room, and I heard the gunshot. Like, I heard it in my house, and I was like, that was a gun. You know what I'm saying? And so, there are moments now, like, if I'm out in public and something loud pops, I am, like, it sets me right back into that mode. And I, I like, almost freak out a little bit. I've never had, like, panic attacks or anything like that. Up until now, like, now, my brain, like, remembers that sound, and it's like, whoa, you know? But, like, I'm in a time now where it's okay for me to feel that. Like, I couldn't imagine being, like, a soldier. 
know what I'm saying? In that time, see my best friend, friends die, my platoon die, gruesomely kill people, and then go back home to my wife and two kids and not fucking tear my face off. You know what I'm saying? So, I like that. That's kind of where, you know, you feel me? I never knew this how your boy went out, bro. That's deep. He really hero. You dropping jams right now. What's up, Frank? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, it sucks, but yeah, that's my dog. It's been like harped upon me for years that like showing my emotions were bad. And like me trying not to be gay, I'm like, no, like I don't want to show these emotions because I'm not gay. I can't be gay. Like I'm not supposed to be gay. Like the church tells me, my dad tells me, my mom tells me, everybody's telling me I'm not supposed to be gay. I see so, a therapist like, myself. It's just worth the just people that for at 25, yeah. now 26, like I'm over here like, okay, like. Oh, you're insecure. Okay, that's what that feels like. Oh, you're sad. That's what that feels like. They caught like. the people. Nah. To be honest, I'm at, I'm at a point where I don't even want them to be cut. I, I, want, I want it to be like something that just is going, that just happened. And it sucks that it happened, but you know what I'm saying? What's good, you got? Streaming now. What up, stream? What's going on, stream? Live right now, literally. Yeah. Live in this bitch. Yeah. I'm watching do all men think the same and they like vote on what they think. And so one was about the, this this question was about like, do you show your emotions? And I was like, it's important to show your emotions. Like and I was talking about Deuce. Mm. And like, could you imagine like if Deuce died? And I was like, Yeah, it sucks, it's but yeah. life goes on. You know what I'm saying? That's like what Kendra was talking about in Father yeah, Time. Yeah, when his said, when that when his dad's he, mom died and he was he like, just, Why are you going back to work so soon? Yeah. He was like, what? Uh, bills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tough. Well, I remember dudes being on TikTok lies. I made a slash so that he didn't want to smoke with me. I didn't know he died until I started watching the Twitch. I don't even remember. But is that? Yeah, I remember Zach. Yeah, hell yeah. Damn, bro, we was all on our fields. I can. What, what, what you doing here? Uh, come and take him out. Uh, you you leaving again? Yeah. For sure. I'm going to that movie. But uh, I told you. What movie are you watching? Evil, Evil Dead Rising. That scary movie? Yeah, something that you wouldn't. No, I wanted watch. to watch that. You know, like I think I like scary movies, movies now. Oh, when did that happen? I don't know, bro. This nigga ain't, ain't like scary movies you know, for for years. Little punk ass. He did always just say. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to watch. But scary it's because they were born. Uh, boring. It's they, they were born. He was scared, me. nigga. You was nah. frightened. No. Nah. Don't blame it on. He said boring. Scary. Annabelle. <laughs> you ain't fucked up. Oh, eat them like dogs! Oh! Oh my god, bro! I don't care about dogs. Oh, I forgot! Bro, show your emotions, bro. He hates them shits, bro. Dogs freak me the fuck out. I'd never be around a dog. He had a he had a dream about dogs when he was young and it fucked him up forever. It was puppets. Oh, puppets, yeah. I was foe, and the puppets came to life. And they started coming at me like this and And they started fucking him. And it was the craziest thing I ever... That part never happened, stream. Double OF that never happened. <laughs> Double OF <laughs> stream that never happened. I never got fucked by bro, no fucking was dream. Bro, we was watching this, bro. <laughs> we was watching this, uh, one of them question videos, like asking college kids questions. Yeah. And then, bro, and the stream, went, I knew they were going to go crazy because it was a black dude, he was asking the question, he got the wrong, he got the question wrong. He was like, okay, bro. Well, since you don't, get, you didn't get that right, but I got some for you and he gave him a fruit. Guess what fruit it was? What? Take a guess. It was a black dude. Wow. It was a banana. And every, and I was like, oh, it's just a fruit. And everybody in my stream was like, nah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, nah, but that's crazy. Wow, your room is super cool. Oh, appreciate you. Live in this bitch. Streaming now. Hey, streaming. Hey, streaming. Mm-hmm. Streaming now. Hey. Hey. That's my, that's my woman right there, stream. Turn me up. That's me. But all right, y'all. All right. Fuck out a little bit. Wait, close my door. <laughs> Now be aware of those things, but to show Bro, what if you gave him a watermelon? Show them to other people right now is like really hard for me. I do feel like I'm very verbally like about my emotions with my wife, but I wouldn't agree completely because I'm not like that with anyone else. I mean, I just filled a, a college class and I was crying about it to my wife, but no one else at school saw me cry, you know? 
I specifically texted my wife, make sure the kids are asleep by the time I come home, because I just knew I was going to be like, as soon as I stepped through that threshold to my house, I was just going to let go, and I didn't want them to see that. But now, I'm not a dad, so like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like watching your dad cry is almost scary, because your dad's supposed to be the protector of the home. You know what I'm saying? But that's also a bad mindset, because like, can you not be vulnerable with your children? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But like the next day I sat down and I had that conversation with them. Like, hey, I just want to let you guys know. Bro, I just had dinner and you're still on this video. And they're like, oh, are you okay? And <laughs> I'm like, yeah, of course. You, you just know, cry like... in front of your kids, man. I remember like seeing my dad cry for the first time when his mom died. And I remember like imprinting that in my mind as like, wow, you know, like my dad can be upset. And that was like a, an important thing to witness. It's reality, emotion. Watching yeah, your real. dad cry most of the top three hurt moments where... Now, I've seen my dad cry, but for me, it's not that scary. It just hurts to see it. I seen my dad cry one time as a little kid, and it was the first time I legitimately prayed. See, like, I told you I need gas at Houston to help me out. I'm, I live in Houston, so. But, yeah, that must suck. I, I, you know, my dad left when I was young, so I've never, I have no way of knowing what, it, what it's like to be around a dad, you know what I'm saying? Or if they cry or not, you know. My mom is involved with me, and it annoys me a lot because I always try to get her to just open up. I feel you. Yeah. I was raised by two parents that I never ever saw cry. The effect that that had on me was by the time one of them passed away very suddenly, I didn't really seem to be affected at all. Mm -hmm. So I've actually had to do a lot of therapy on that. This thing about masculinity not being able to show your emotions is very bad. It puts us backwards in society, and, and we need to be thinking about how to tap into our emotions in a healthy way together. Thank you for saying in your truth, brother. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Great job, man. You too. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's a dope little video. But guess what, guys? <laughs> it's time to play some video games. What the fuck? We're hopping on Brawl with it. Now I gotta, like, do all.